What's going on, Warriors fans? It's Chase Johnson here. You are listening. You're watching to Warriors Wednesday uh, is another feature. It's finally back, and we are checking in with some of the newest, hottest recruits of the West Kelowna Warriors. Nobody hotter than this guy right here. He was drafted 91st overall to the Seattle Kraken, Mr. Ben McDonald. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Talk to me. What are the what has the last 30 days been like for you? Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun the last 30 days, obviously with the draft and then going to camp is, uh, is a bit of a whirlwind. So uh, spent spent two days in Montreal, watched the first watched the first day, obviously didn't get picked. And then second day was a, a dream come true. And then the day after that, we uh, we we flew to to Seattle. So a lot of fun, but it was it was definitely really busy. So we'll get into the draft. We'll get into the pre-draft. We'll get into the development camp. We'll get into all that. But first, let's go linear. Let's start Ben McDonald as a child. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ben McDonald's father, former Hobie Baker winner. He played on Harvard with Warriors majority owner John Murphy. There's a connection there. But why don't we talk about Ben McDonald as a child? Was hockey always the plan? Yeah, I mean, ever since I, I started playing the game, ever since I first got my first mini mini hockey stick, I just loved it. Um, my parents really never forced it on me. They wanted me to just do what I wanted to do and whatever I was having fun in, uh, they they were going to support me. But hockey was was my first love, and it it still is. So that's that's just always what I've what I've loved to do. Your uh, your father obviously uh, didn't have a long pro career, but uh, was a stud in in college. Were you moving around a lot as a child or were pretty much born and raised in New England? You stayed in New England. Yeah, I was born and raised in New England. I think, uh, moved into this house when I was one years old. So I've been I've been here ever since. Uh, you were visiting a lot of different uh, uh, NHL teams. You were uh, at the Combine. So you actually didn't attend our Boston camp uh, when we were out in Boston. I, I, I We just missed each other, having the opportunity to see each other, Ben, when I was there. Uh, but uh, talk to me about the time leading up to the draft because you were sort of one of those one of those guys that some scouts weren't unsure of guys like Craig Button and Bob McKenzie didn't get to see a lot of Ben McDonald uh at least uh since Ben McDonald was out in Noble and Greeno now there wasn't a lot of tape on you you know we're seeing like these great highlights on on Twitter these very short videos some uh, draft pundits out there had you going very high. Some of them had you falling. Uh, you go 91st overall to Seattle Kraken. Just talk to me kind of how did that affect you mentally? Did it affect you mentally at all leading up to the draft? Yeah, I think coming from from high school in, in, in the New England area, it's definitely not very common path for NHL draft picks. We actually had a couple guys picked from, from, the, from the high school circuit here in Massachusetts. So it was a good year, but there, like you said, there isn't a lot of tape, but didn't really affect me mentally. I'm I'm pretty laid back kid, so I like to let criticism kind of just roll off my back and and not really think into it or kind of think about it too much at all. You got to uh, you were the one draft pick that was actually there attending the draft. You actually got to um, you know hang out a little bit with your future head coach Simon Ferguson. Simon obviously was helping out with the Montreal Canadiens at their development camp. You know, for you being there with your family, what was that experience like when your name was called? Oh, it was just a dream come true. I mean, you can't really, you can't really even describe it. You've been thinking about getting drafted, dreaming about that moment for for your entire life since you started playing hockey. Since I started playing hockey, so it was it was really just surreal. And then going through the whole experience was was just really special. And it's it's a day that I'm never going to forget. And it's a day I'll probably never have anything like ever again. So nine picks later. The Seattle Kraken have another pick. They were loaded with those second, third, fourth round picks, but they kind of stocked up. Uh, they trade down to draft Ben McDonald. The whole draft table on TV is like, whoa, big trade down to draft this Ben McDonald kid who is all over the place in a lot of draft rankings. And then nine picks later, Tyson Jugnoff gets drafted. We got two Warriors drafted by the same team, nine picks apart. Um, I don't even know. You were already busy getting photographs and, and talking to the media during this stretch. When did you find out? Oh, my God. Tyson Jugnall just got drafted. Like, we're, we're going to be on the same team. Yeah, I didn't see that until uh, like an hour or so later. But I was I was pretty excited. I got to meet him when I when I visited Kelowna. And then when we got out to camp, we, we got to become pretty fast friends. We were sitting next to each other in the locker room. And he's he's a great guy. So it was it was it was really easy to become friends with him. 
Um, moving forward, yeah, you you get drafted, you get the jersey, you get the the headshots, uh, and then you attend that that development camp. Uh, there was a lot of BCHL prospects there. I mean, uh, Noah Sardakny of the Sam Ram Silverbacks was just uh, an invited player, but you're there, and it's it's funny. Even uh, Warriors alumni, probably arguably known as one of the greatest Warriors of all time, Justin Schultz, two times Stanley Cup winner, he's here right now uh, behind this wall practicing uh, with a couple other pros here in West Kelowna, and he's very excited about the facility. But he even admitted to me, I just signed a multi-year contract at the Kraken. I don't even know what this practice facility is like. And I said, well, you should probably ask Ben McDonald and Tyson (laughs) Jugnoff. They've been there already. It's an old mall, Northgate Mall, that's been completely renovated and turned into this very high-class pro facility. Can you describe what it's like to the viewers at home? It was crazy. I mean, we we walked in there and it didn't really feel like a practice rink. It felt like a pro arena. I mean the locker room and just where the lounge and where everybody was eating and everything was just really top notch. And I, I really hadn't seen anything like it. It was, it was really special. Um, and um, moving forward, you know, you're going to be playing with the Warriors this upcoming season, uh, not going to the Kraken quite yet. You're going to be probably a couple of years away from playing for the Seattle Kraken because you're going to Harvard university or for others, alma mater. I mean, how excited are you to be playing uh, for Harvard, let alone it, it's attached to your family? Yeah, I'm really excited. It's uh, it's always been a dream of mine to play for a Beanpot school, and then Harvard. I just felt was the best best fit for me, and I'm really excited to to follow to follow my dad's footsteps, and uh, hopefully, uh, I'm gonna have some success there at some point. All right, Ben, I gotta get you to talk about yourself. I want you to compare your style of game versus your father's style of game, and then maybe just give us a peek of the type of player that you are, Ben. Yeah, I'd say my dad and I are definitely a little different. He's He was more of a, a speedy winger uh, that would kind of finish in tight. I'd say I'm more of a cerebral player. Uh, I've, I think my back, my biggest assets, my, my hockey sense, my hockey IQ. I'd I describe myself as a playmaker that's responsible in, in uh, all three zones. And uh, I like to think I make my teammates better too, uh, just by moving the puck and hopefully creating some space out there. What have you heard about the BCHL and what's sort of your, your expectation going into it? Because, you know, there's there's sort of something that, that's told not only by scouts, but by former New England prep players is it's an adjustment playing the BCHL. It's just a much faster league. You don't have, you don't have as much time with the puck. Uh, what sort of things are you expecting, at least in the first couple of weeks of the regular season? Yeah, I've just heard so much about the speed and the skill of the league. It's uh, I'm really excited to play out there. It's pretty, it's pretty offensive from what I've been, from what I've been hearing and uh, what I've seen. So I'm really, I'm really excited to get out there. It's going to be uh, great to play with such high level players. Um, we've got a bunch of great guys coming back on the team, and I've, I've met a bunch of the guys. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to meet all of them in person, and uh, I'm just really excited to, to get this year going. All right, let's uh, let's talk about uh, Luke Devlin here for a second. This is a guy that uh, got drafted a little later than you and Tyson Jugnoff, but he was drafted. Both you and Luke are going to be suiting up with the Warriors. This will be the first official season where the West Kelowna Warriors are going to have two NHL draft picks at the same time on their team. Did you have any communication with Luke when he got drafted? Uh, and uh, what do you know about Luke? Uh, I think I played against him last summer in the U S national camp. We exchanged a few DMS, a couple texts. So he, he seems like a great guy. I'm really looking forward to, to getting to know him. And obviously I, I've played against him a little bit. He's a great player. So I'm looking forward to, to being his friend and uh, being his teammate. Hopefully we can help each other out a little bit out there. Ben, uh, outside of the hockey rink, you've been to the central Okanagan already once uh, just for a visit, you know, what sort of things are you looking forward to uh, being a future member of the community here? I'm just looking forward to exploring the area a lot more and uh, getting to know uh, the whole team, meeting the fans too, and uh, meeting the whole staff is, is going to be really exciting. Thanks so much for this, Ben, and uh, really looking forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Ben McDonald joins us on this episode of Warriors Wednesday. Uh, we're going to be taking a little peek at some of the returning players, including the new starting goaltender of the West Kelowna Warriors, Justin Katz. In the meantime, my name's Chase Johnston. His name is Ben McDonald, signing off on Warriors Wednesday.